now let's add the login and registration for users so for that purpose let's just close the main screen now and also the main dot dot and we will leave this press screen and come back here to the drivers app okay from the drivers app we are going to go to the lib okay from here you have to simply copy this authentication folder okay copy it come back to the android studio right click on lib and then click paste and click ok so inside the authentication as you know we have the login screen and sign up screen and we have car info screen which we do not need here in the users app so that's why we will delete the car info screen from here okay just do refractor so the car info screen has been deleted and now the next thing is let's start from the sign up screen so on the sign up screen the pages I mean the packages which shows errors simply remove that first and we have to also copy the widgets from our drivers project so come back here to the drivers app inside the lib we have widgets okay these one so just copy widgets folder and then come back to the android studio right click on lib and click paste and click ok so here we have our widgets progress dialog dot dot file as you can see here so now on the sign up screen just click here before the progress dialog p and then click on this red bulb and import progress dialog dot dot click here import the global dot dot and then here when the user is authenticated successfully that is when the user is created in the firebase authentication then it basically return us back the user which is the firebase user using which we can get the user uid okay so if it has been created successfully then we are checking that is if the firebase user is not equals to null okay so that will be in the success of this code so when it is successful then we are going to save the user information in the database that is the real time database so the user id we can get using this and then the name we can get from the name controller from the email controller and from the phone controller we can get the phone but here we have to change the reference since you know this is our users app so we will change the name of this to users okay so inside the parent node users we will save all our users data with the help of the that unique user id okay for each user and then we will save the map to it instead of calling it driver map we will give it name as user map so we will save the information under that unique id and yeah the rest of the code will remain the same and here we can simply say my splash screen after successful registration so yeah these are the function okay I mean the changes which we have done here and everything is okay now and now scroll down here and in the design instead of displaying the logo one as you know we have our logo.png so we can say logo dot png and here we can say register as a user and the rest of the code will remain the same just here the already have an account here we have to write since this is sign up screen so you can say login screen already have an account login here so this is all about our sign up screen now let's just close this and come back here to the login screen first of all remove the packages which shows red lines and now here we have to import the progress dialog import the progress dialog dot dot and then import the global dot dot and of course my splash screen in case when the login is successful 
otherwise error record during login and then for the design make sure to change here this to logo.png since it is our image and then login as a user and then here we can say sign up screen okay so that's it also one more thing is if you come here to the sign up screen let me check the functions name okay the methods name so we'll do form and then here let's change name of our method to save user info now okay and we will call that here so make sure to call I mean change this name as well okay save user info now save user info now and also on the login screen we can quickly change the names to validate form is okay and in here we can say save login user now so yeah that's it and then on the splash screen we can remove this and we can say login login screen and on our mender dot it is it's uh, so let me tell you guys how it will work as you know our app start from here okay so it will go to the my space screen and on the my space screen for the three seconds we are displaying our this um, splash screen okay this design so after three seconds it will check that is if the user is already logged in then send the user to the main screen otherwise send the user to the login screen so on the main screen okay which is our main screen dot dot here we have our logout button and for now let's just quickly add here that is Firebase auth dot sign out and then on the sign out we are going to send the user to the login screen login screen dot dot okay that's it so now let's just restart the app our app is running now let's go to the sign up page okay register as a user so let's say the username is Peter Parker Peter at the red gmail.com then of course the phone number and then the password let's just click on create account account has been created and here we go we are on the main screen with the logout button let's just check the database first first here we are going to the authentication and here you can see Peter and if you go to the real-time database then we have basically a parent node created by the name users okay inside this parent node user we have our first user kbrjd i mean the unique id for this user whose name is peter parker and all the information is saved here kbrj if you check here then this is the unique id kbrj for peter so yeah i mean it is working fine now let's just log out and let's log in if the login is working also login and yeah it is working fine login successful logout so that is really nice